Hey, it's your boy Keese, and uh, I just wanted to help some people out who are using iWeb. Uh, I know a lot of people who do use iWeb. I use iWeb. I love it just because I control everything from my uh, computer. But as we all know, uh, Mac, freaking haters. No, I love Mac uh, other than you just hating on iWeb or getting rid of the support part of this pro application. So uh, what I did to transfer my hosting from my mobile me to GoDaddy. Uh, GoDaddy is housing all my uh, internet names pretty much. So I called them up and got on with tech support. And pretty much the process was me uh, paying for the hosting there, which was like 180 bucks. And then with the hosting, they pretty much walked me through uh, setting my settings and all the changes I needed to make. And I got to be honest, it wasn't that hard. Uh, and after all was said and done um, here, which is where normally um, this is normally set to my mobile me uh, and sends it to there. Now it's to FTP server. And from there, as you see, it says uh, site name Arkees and... Uh, that's not really that important, but here, which is the FTP server setting, this was all the all the stuff that I got from GoDaddy. So it's the information that they're going to give you once you set everything up with them, and they're going to walk you through all of that. You don't need to know my password, <laughs> but uh, you know it, it was it was not that hard. And I know for people who've been really frustrated with what's been going on with the iWeb stuff, there is a solution now. I'm still waiting for this thing to post. It takes a minute. So this is part one of my video. And if it posts and everything's great and I love my website, then I'll post another one. Uh, so we'll see what happens. And I uh, just wanted to just give you a little information. So I'll use GoDaddy and see how that works. And they walk me through the process. And this is how you switch it over from your mobile me to another hosting service. All right. Shabar Keys. I'm out.